Leave a crown and tear emoji if you have watched all of the episodes of Queen of Tears. I just finished this K-drama and I'm so obsessed with Kim Joo Won's character in the show. I also love how her looks are so simple yet look so elegant. So on today's video, I'll be recreating two of her most worn hairstyles. I made it super easy to recreate so I'm very confident you can create it at home. So let's start with the first hairstyle. So this hairstyle has three parts. First the ends. The ends look curved and sort of like a blow dried look. The second part is the bent hair near the chin area to frame the face. And the third is a side swept bangs. So for both styles, prepping your hair is key, so make sure you spray a heat spray protectant. I'm using the Lux Heat Protectant Spray. And I'm using this Lux Air Pro which is the best and more affordable dupe for the Dyson Airwrap. So by brushing my hair with this Lux Air Pro, it can remove some frizz and give your hair more volume. So next is parting your hair. So I part mine by following the side of my nose. Okay, so now let's work on the ends. I now grab my tool. This is a one and one half inch barrel from Hot Tools. Since I have thin hair, I can just grab the half side of my hair and feed everything in the barrel, rolling the hair in. And I also repeat this on the other side. And you should achieve this curved ends. Now, to frame our face like Hena, we should create a bend near the chin area to frame our face. So I'm grabbing an inch to an inch and a half of hair, and I'm feeding my curling iron below my chin, curling it up away from the face, twisting twice, and letting go. Then I move on to the next section and I do the same thing and I repeat this until all sections are curled making sure I don't curl higher than my chin because we really want the bend to be just on our chin or below. And I repeat the process on the other side making sure I curl away from the face and everything in one direction. Now it's time for the side swept bangs. So just grab your bangs, feed it through the curling iron sideways. And also do it on the other side. To get more volume, I always see this hack on Korean hairstyles. So you put your hair on top of the curling iron to give it more volume and you also do it on the other side and also on the middle. I also curl the end of my bangs inward more to have more of that side swept look. And then I tease the fronts more because I'm missing volume. I have thinner hair. So if you have thin hair, just make sure that you tease the front section of your hair. And then I also tease the back where the wave is. So just find the bend on your hair and tease at the back of it. On the other side, get a three-finger width of hair and tuck it behind your ears. 
and then grab the hair beside that and hide the top of your ears with it. So here's the final look. I thought the white background and the white top is not showing the hairstyle so much. So in the through essence of Queen of Tears, I changed to red. And here you have it, a very simple yet very elegant looking soft wave hairstyle. Now let's move on to the second hair look. This has a more pronounced waves. And since the waves are more PC, we are going to use a smaller barrel. This is a one inch barrel. And I'm also getting a smaller section of hair. So we're still curling in one direction and away from the face, keeping the barrel vertically so we get a wave, not a bouncy curl. So we're going to repeat this step on each section. And when it comes to my bangs, I'm only going to curl starting in the middle to the end and I drag it while curling to have that side swept look. And then I just use a wide tooth comb to comb my hair so the waves will show more and won't stick with each other. And I will do the same on the other side, curling away from the face, all in the same direction, holding my barrel vertically to have that waves. And then I used the Not Your Mother's Plump For Joy Dry Shampoo to add more texture to my hair. And again, teasing under each wave so the waves are more pronounced and also so that it can have more volume. And we're done! Another easy but elegant waves that can be worn every day, day or night. Now let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, the soft waves or the more PC waves. Also comment down below which episode of Queen of Tears is your favorite. I hope you find this video informative and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you try this hairstyle out. Thanks for watching! Bye!